It is said a great warrior can reforge ground by answering the trials of Odin, one for each shard. Oh shit. Right, hey guys, Nukes Plays here with part five of Senua's Sacrifice Hellblade. Whatever name you want to give it. Last time we just fought, well, didn't really fight. We had a cutscene with a giant head of Hela, who's like the one that uh, runs the darkness. And um, our sword broke and we fell down off the bridge. And this is meant to be Gillian's uh, light or something. So he's meant to be trying to guide us somewhere. So I guess we'll find out where that is in this um, thing. I'm just going to show you the bridge that we fell off quickly. There it is. That's what we fell off. Crossed it. Uh, actually, pretty easy section. You just have to do like a word, uh, another like letter gate thing. Um, so yeah, that was the easiest one we've had so far, which is why the last part was only half an hour and not 50 odd minutes like it usually is, because I usually suck at the other ones, but that one is so straightforward, even I couldn't mess it up, so... Before she first met him, she was not in a good place. Just a teenager, but not like the others. Barely functioning, she rarely left the house. My father Zinbel made sure of that. Zinbel's a funky name. Only occasionally did she venture out on her own, collecting firewood and herbs, errands out in the Orkney Plains. That was her world. Like this one. Barren and lonely. So there's like a lot to explore around here. Maybe something down here. Maybe like another face. There you go. Senua, there will be times that you will feel alone and exhausted, like a strange little fish swimming against the tides of the big ocean. But have the faith to let go and let the tide carry you away. Because the whole ocean is your home and it does not ask you to swim against it. I want more Druth and his cool accent to come back. That tiny little fish. Do not try to swim against it. It's already disappeared. Nothing lives here, not even you. It's in your mind. You think you can so see this it. This flank as well. There he was. Drop down here you now, what am I going to do? Okay, there's a path. Sword play under the shade of a tree. She remembers the first time she saw him. Lawstone! To her young eyes, he moved as if dancing. And the world danced with him. The gloom lifted. And for the first time in years, she felt a ray of hope. The Northmen tell of a great hero. His name is His Sigmund. Name is Sigmund. His father's hall was built around a great tree, and one day, Odin comes yeah. and thrusts a sword into the tree, a gift to whomever can release it. Many try, but the sword only comes out at Sigmund's touch. Is this the sword that we are going to His get? His brother, King Sigi, wants it. But Sigmund refuses him, so King Sigir plots revenge. He invites Sigmund and his brothers to a feast, but when they arrive, they are met with an army, not a war. 
King Sigir captures Sigmund and his brothers, steals his covered sword, and readies them for execution. Oh, there's another one. I thought this was the path to the door, but I guess not. Death for Sigmund and his brothers seems certain. But the king's wife is Sigmund's <laughs> sister, and she begs for mercy and implores the king to chain them up instead. He agrees. Not for mercy, though, but because he plans an even more cruel and lingering death. Chained to a tree in the forest that night, a she-wolf comes and devours one of Sigmund's We're brothers. Get to fight a she -wolf at some point. She returns, ravenous, night after night, until only Sigmund is left. The next day, Sigmund's sister sends a servant with honey to smear on Sigmund's face. But to what end? Well, that night, when the she-wolf appears oh, again, happen? you'll never guess what happens. Tell me, tell me, Druth. Oh, we have to wait for the microphone. Can we focus on this now? We need a tree. Okay, there's a tree with like hanging people on it. So. Alright, maybe that's the tree that they were talking about in, um, with the sword in it. Alright then, so let's go back down. It's like brothers all over again looking for a tree. I thought the uh, the darkness thing was much lower than that, so that's not very good. It's like up to her elbow now. So, oh, is that a boat with someone on it? Seems to be like bobbing about. Oh, there's a tree! And a law stone. Oh. Okay, weapon which the honey. Licks the sweet honey from Sigmund's face. He bites the wolf's tongue. The she wolf pulls away, but Sigmund holds on. The chains break, and he is free. After his escape, Sigmund lives like us, hidden in the forest. His enemy, King Sigir, believing him dead, as his sister, plots revenge. Okay, is this back to the beach that we just came from? So he just bit the wolf's tongue and suddenly he was able to get free. I'm not sure if that makes day sense. Day after day, watching from afar, she mimicked him, perfecting her own secret dance. Wishing those fleeting moments of light There's, uh, stretch what's out to last forever. Oh, look at the colour here. That's pretty cool. So is this what we were running to, or is this like a different one? You know how there was the... Oh, another one. R again. Sigmund's sister trades shapes with a sorceress, and in disguise, she lies with her... Sigmund's sister trades shapes with a sorceress, and in disguise, she lies with her own brother. She gives birth to a son named Sinfjotli. After a time, she sends him to the forest to Sigmund. He tests the boy, 
and finds him strong and fearless. And so they go to take their vengeance on King Sigir. motion music and him running towards her. Like you get all the... Actually, so I don't need cartoons. You really actually get that in like films. Yeah. But I guess we can't go through the wall then. Okay, cutscene. There we go. And she'll like reach out or something and it'll turn back to the dark, dingy tree. What's your name? Senua. I haven't seen you before. I'm not. I don't leave home much. Oh. Zeno's daughter. I have to go. Wait. Who taught you to fight like that? No one. <laughs> no one? Well, I, I watched you and... You learnt all of that from watching me? <laughs> you should become a warrior, you know. Me? I'm Dilly. I'm here for the warrior trials. Just come and watch. And bring your sword. You can't put it into words. That moment when you look into the eyes of the one who is supposed to reassure you. Feel safe. It only takes an instant. Fear swallows you before you have a chance to make sense of it. And darkness becomes a part of who you are. You killed him. But her world changed the day the Northmen took him from her. Senua knows that there's no going back to how things were. That there's nothing to go back to at all. Stay still, stay quiet, hide and don't tell them. Their gods can see into your mind. They will use this power to destroy you. They won't stop me. I can still feel him. Whatever's left of him, they will never let him go. I'm not gonna let him rot here! You're the one rotting here. Leave me alone. You will die here. No! And all your suffering will have been for nothing! Shut up! It looks like it should be. But it ain't. As Sigmund and Sinfjotli are being buried alive, Sigmund's sister throws an armful of straw 
into the grave mound. Hidden in the straw is Sigmund's sword, wow, the gift of Odin. Of straw to hide a sword. They cut their way out of the grave mound and set fire to Sigir's hole. The king burns to death. Sigmund calls to his sister to come out so that she may live and be honored. She does come out, but only to tell him the truth. That she had slept with him, her brother, to beget a strong avenger. I am not fit to live, she says, and walks back into the fire. Strike vengeance from your heart, Senua, as there is always a heavy price to pay. Okay, I yeah, so we got to like kind of wade our way around. But I guess not. And there's another one. Another not law stone. Okay, we can just run to the end. Okay, that's that's simpler. Come on. She keeps stopping, I think she's gonna be like super injured, but Yeah. Hmm. So obviously there's gonna be like a sword or some Actually, maybe I'm, maybe I'm just making that up. They mentioned a sword in a tree in the story. Okay, there's the other one. There we go. And, um... If that's where she met him, I guess there's going to be like another cutscene, and then there's going to be like a tree, like a, a sword appears in the tree, rather. And that's all of them for here. Good. And here is Simple as it's been. Story. He was a fierce and great warrior who fought many battles. But one day, an old man came onto the battlefield. Although shadowed by a hood, Sigmund saw but that he only If that's anything to go by, we're like halfway through the game. The man raised his spear, um, and Sigmund struck it with his sword, but the sword shattered into like pieces. About Sigmund then knew that this was Odin, just under a quarter of and it, thus that victory and that took be his. like less than an hour. So he bowed his head. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Dying. He tells his wife that she is with child, and that her son will one day make a great weapon out of the fragments of his sword. Oh, is there anything around the side here? No. Alright, let's go in the tree. Skulls. And there's a sword. This one's like right here. The so I'm guessing this is one we're meant to first. And that explains why um, there it is. Focus. it's not a lot of stuff. Focus. Use your eyes. Look. Get closer. What can you see? A king in the north forced the dwarves to make a sword that would never fail and never rust, and that would slice through iron and stone and bring victory to its bearer. But the angry dwarves cursed it, 
It would be the death of a man every time it was drawn. And it would be the death of the king. Let me tell you about the sword Tyrving. I don't recognize this place. Where are we? And we'll pull back and listen else. It feels wrong. Where are we now? Burial mound. So strange that we go to such lengths to bury death. Something so very ordinary. Inevitable. It's as if we conspire to hide death. Because we have no answer for it. But when it comes, it enforces itself onto our friends or loved ones. So there's four here. Then comes the reckoning. Tell about a young woman warrior. Her name is Herver, the daughter of a berserker born after he was killed. The berserker. She's a wild, willful child who teaches herself to fight with weapons. When she learns where her father is buried, her only desire is to reclaim the treasure buried with him, but above all, the sword, Tyrving. Let's look who went left first. Well, I actually, if I'd seen that this went like led up, then I probably would have gone left to see what they were hiding. I hope it wasn't like another face because I already know what the point name is. Unless that's like another achievement is um like see the face ten times. No face here, okay. It looks foreboding. I don't think these trials are gonna be very fun. Alright, then let's head on in. Prolonged it long enough. Don't go in there. Go in. You have to go in. Ah, take a torch. Okay. It's too dark. Take it. So this is shard number one. I don't know how many shards there are until. It looked like three from. Who's there? Dillian, I'm here. I'm here for the trials. Like when we first met, remember? I'll find him. things actually. This is your mission. Find him. You'll have to use everything you have and find him. Get him back. He was just there. How could you lose him? How could she lose him? How could she no, find fair. him? That would have made sense. Okay, so let's go this way then. And if we don't have a sword, does that mean that we aren't going to have to do any combat for all these trials? Because I'm down for that, because I suck at the combat. Alright, that was lucky. We just stumbled across one. So, okay, it is for this. Herver disguises herself as a man to join a band of warriors, and soon becomes their leader. When they come to the island where her father is buried, her men do not want to go ashore. They say that evil haunts the island, and that it is a worse place by day than other places are by night. Fearless, she lands alone. 
There are many grave mounds, and all of them have ghostly flames burning over them. She comes to the grave mound of her father after passing through these ghostly fires as though they were mist. The flames I passed through were real enough. Damn the Northmen to hell. If you go down there, no one can save you. It's too scary. Find another way. It's not working. You have to use your mind. Where can you go? You're failing. Find another Think. way. Think. 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 Focus. Think. Use your mind. Where's he gone? He's disappeared. You, no, you don't recognize it. Don't doubt yourself. You'll never find it. She doesn't recognize it. Yes, you do. You Is that another one? She doesn't. Listen for his voice. Listen. All right, so if I go the way that they say not to go, okay, then that means that I'll find one. And from the look of it, it looks like we're nearly finished this trial anyway. We've only got Within the burial mound, Herver calls on her father to wake from death and bring her his sword. She says that it is not seemly for the dead in their grave mounds to bear valuable weapons. Her father answers with words of warning. You go to your doom. Baleful runes surround you. You have gone mad. You have lost your mind. Your thoughts are confused. It is dangerous to wake the dead. Like I said, she reminds me of you. Come on, Lowstone. I'm trying to work out if we are meant to go through there, or whether that's like the hidden area where the lawstone is. That's the trouble. Is it the way they want you to go? So that it'll take you on and we won't be able to come back, or is that the way they don't want you to go? And the last stone's there. Because it's the kind of thing where there's no like chapter or like area select thing on the main menu. So if I wanted to get them all, I have to do it all over again. Is that it? That voice doesn't sound like Dillian. What's happening? It's not him. What is that? It is one. Okay, good. There we go. It's changing. That's not. Herver ignores her father's warnings. The grave mound opens, and it seems to be full of fire. Again, Herver demands her inheritance, but her father warns her that the sword is cursed and would be the bane of her family. But he relents and brings her the sword. She leaves the island with it. The curse holds true, and death would follow in the years to come. And so, Senema, the mist. I just need to, okay, I think this is where we were. I was gonna say I need to find where that cave actually was, but here it is. Come on. I'm gonna run in this section, otherwise I wouldn't, but Quiet. He wants me to find him. I'm lost without him. And that reflection makes no sense, does it? Is true that would be reflecting what's in front of it, not straight down. That's weird. That's really weird. What's in there? What's in there? What is it? A secret room. Rooms. How do you get in there? How does she get in there? Oh, is that where we just came from? Find a way. There has to be a way. Find a way. That voice. It's not Dillian. There's some, like, there's like a reddish kind of thing in this one, so I'll go this way see what It looks creepy. Ooh. It's like the furnace thing from uh, Home Alone. Dillian wants me to face my fears. How do we get in? Again, the sound is really cool for this bit. Could go on the side here. Okay, move all my go left.
Run, woman. Does everything look the same? Looks the same. They all look the same. Something's different. Look at the Okay. What's different? So is it like changing around me? Okay. How do we like the torch? Whoa! What's going on here? See that? Oh, you just pressed X to light the torch. That's that makes sense. So, do we go the way the torch is lit or not? <laughs> Where are we? So it's like a maze kind of thing. So let's go the way that it's not lit. You have fallen in. I think that sound is the same. Looks the same. Something's different. The shield's different. What is it? What's different? There's a clue. So I'm guessing if it's dark, it means we're making progress, maybe. Oh, so we were probably meant to use a torch to like remember where we've been. Okay, that's not good. So that's taking us back to the cave again. Whereas, let's sort of what does this do? The sword's here. Can we not pick these up? No. Try X with it. No. So are we meant to go the way that looks the same or are we meant to go the dark way? Again, the reflections here make no sense. Okay, look, this, this is different. This is good. Hopefully. No, this is where we've been because that's a law stone. Shit. So, this is like the maze shard. Let her think. No, no, don't let her think. Space, she just knows. No, no, no. She doesn't think. Don't listen to that. I don't need to think. I just don't know what I'm doing. I don't know whether I'm meant to follow the fire or whether I'm meant to follow the, the, the dark bit. She needs us. Do you do need to tell her what to do? Another strategy. You're lost forever. What are you going to do when the torch runs out? Alright, what happens if we go backwards? There's nothing. Come to you again. nothing you can do. Nothing. Oh, that's not good. I thought, like, if we all, all we had to do was like turn around and we'd be fine. Huh. Can we hang these? Can we light these hanging basket bits now? Maybe we're meant to like light every torch. Okay, so now we've done this, so let's see if this leads somewhere different. Or whether we're just gonna go around in a circle and it'll bring us back out to the maze thing. So I just wanna see what happens if we go through. There was that red thing. So I wonder if we can get back to that by going this way. See if now that we've lit all the torches, whether that opens the gate or something. Otherwise, what is the point in this area? <laughs> Labyrinth shot. So all I had to do was press X the first time. <laughs> Fucking hell.
Ah, oh, okay. Well, I'm glad I followed the cave then. That's lucky. Father? I'm leaving. I've decided. I think it will be good for me. It's the darkness. It's speaking through you. No, Dad, it's me. I think I can beat it. In my own way. I can see the darkness in your eyes, child. I met a boy. Boy? Chief, no. He said he could help me. It's a trick. He said I could be normal. Normal? Yes. No boy is going to save you. No one can. When they see the rot growing no. inside you, no. they will turn their back on you. The gods can only fix you through my hand. You're going nowhere. No. You will not defy the gods. Come, child, take my hand. Come. Send one. No! I am leaving! You cannot escape the darkness. Your curse will make everyone suffer. You will have blood on your hands! Okay, and with that, we've completed the Labyrinth Shard. Um, so we've got, from what I can see, two more to do. There's one there and there's one over there. Uh, so, in the meantime, seems like a good time to end the episode here. So next time we'll do some more shards and, I guess, find out what they are together. So that'd be cool. So thanks for watching. See you next time for more shard action, I guess. Um, so that'll be part six, I believe. So uh, thanks for watching. Stay awesome. And see you guys next time. Thanks a lot.